And we're back, fellow knife and outdoor gear enthusiast. C and Jewel. Just Jewel. Ah, Reverend Jewel. AK Blade, your weekly update on the new goings on in the outdoor world. This week we'll be showing you some knives from Sabibi. We. Best Tech. Max Ace. And Sencut. Yep, mm. Sencut, Sabibi, and we all wiggled their way into this episode. Yeah, they're just cranking out those new knives like Soldier Boy. So, kick it. That's not it. So, kicking off with the Wii Nitro Mini, there's five options. Okay, guys, there's carbon fiber, there's copper, there's micarta, and a few, you know, other ones. Yep. We've got the copper one. All right, frame lock is 7.46 inch overall, the 3.13 inch CPM 20 CV drop point blade. Flat grind jimping and comes to about 58 to 60 on the HRC scale. This model has a black stone wash finish and is open with either the jimped flipper stud or the dual sided thumb studs. There we go. So blade is about 0 0.13 inches thick. Handle on this option is 6A04V black titanium because that's what the bolsters are. And then the copper foil carbon fiber onlay. Though, as we mentioned, there are other options. Handle features titanium hardware as well, such as the pivot cap, the screws, the thumb studs, tip up, pocket clip, and the lanyard hole and backspace. All right. This knife was awarded Factory Best in Show and Best Factory Folder at Blade Show West. Knife was designed by Peter Carey and comes with all the extras pouch, cleaning cloth, stickers, and Starts at just two sixty seven seventy five from a landknife.com. Alright, All right, go ahead, go find your thing. Alright. Alright, I like the knife because it is I'll light. Go for it one more time. Yep. And of course, well made. I mean can't tell any difference between the like, Can't see the ooh, line, can you? Can't see the line. Oh no brush, you can't. <clears throat> uh other than that, I mean I like the styling of it. It's a very nice little uh, copper foil they got going there. The blade shape, not bad. I mean, overall, it is a really well put together knife. Yeah, 267. I guess that's where we're at now. Yeah. So. so I, too, love the copper foil carbon fiber. Now, I have seen it before from, like, QSP, and I think Wee's even done it before on, like, the Soothsayer mm. and a couple other ones. But I like that they did the titanium mix with it. Solid deployment, very smooth disengagement. It's got a flipper. It's got a lanyard hole. No lefty pocket clip, but it has everything else I'm wanting. So A plus from me. Yeah, they also they do a nice black. They do do a nice. It's black. a different. I mean, there's black all over this table, but, but this it's is a, a different. different it's like black. a matte black you'd find on a nice, um, like Dodge Charger. Oh my gosh, I was thinking a car, but like I'm a matte sure black. Yeah, that's what yeah. a car reminds me of. Okay. All right. Let's a move on. Go ahead. Are you ready? Yep. Are you sure? Next knife. We've got the Best Tech Slither. Lots of choices in terms of color and blade finish because it is a Best Tech. Mm -hmm. Though all will have G10 handles and 14C 28 in steel blades. Seven different options. Is that it? Mm-hmm. That it. All right, so there they all there. So we've got the Jewel Jade one. Great finish. So when fully open, this knife is 8.47 inches overall with a 3.66 inch 14C tween and steel blade. That's about 0 0.14 inches thick with jimping. And like I said, on this option, it is the gray finish. Handleless Jewel J G10 is hidden lantern hole. Tip up deep carry pocket clip and inside gray finished milled liners. Can't beat that. Yeah. Of course, this budget blade is just $68.00. So, slither on over to landknife.com to get your own best tech slither. I had mm. to word slither into slither, you know. Okay, I have to say... Not slithering. Yeah, no, not slithering. So, best tech is really bringing their game this year. They're getting their name out there. They're maintaining their quality, their good price. 
still making unique designs and when I see this I know it's a best tech okay I like that now they do do that occasional odd knife you know flop where it's a little too high and or a weird design but for this it's good they're con consistently releasing good budget blades I think they deserve to be just as well known as like we and Savivi wow. I like this one so, so you're telling me that best tech is like the Jose Canseco or Pete Inquilvilla of the knife world. They take a big swing on every one, and sometimes they hit a home run, and sometimes they flat out miss. Swing that bat as hard as you could. Didn't matter what the coach said. Didn't matter what we said. You just swing away, Merle. All right, so Go ahead, I'll let you I like this knife also. I did a lot of. Uh, we got a lot of Best Tech um, budget knives in a couple days ago, I believe. Some uh, new rock face models and uh, different ones, but felt wrong not to swing. Yeah, I did. I like the styling of this knife. I like the uh, yep. tip there. I mean, it, does it really serve a purpose? I don't know. I think that yeah. lets you, you know. Gives it a good cutting uh, point, which I always like that. But I like the size of it, too. It, it is, is my size. It's a little bigger than the usual Best Tech. Yeah, I think now all they need to do is get a little more creative with the handles, scales a little bit, instead of the same old nine features. And maybe they could do like a QSP and throw in 37, 38, 39 different varieties. Um, other than that, it's still got the nice pivot cap. Yeah. All right. So our next carry is the Civivi Sakoke. Four different options for this knife. Mm -hmm. There's a green micarta, a brown micarta, a black G10, and do I even need to say it? Damascus version. Yep. So we have the black G10 and green burlap micarta. Oh, yes. This recently released Lionel Lux sports a 3.35 inch 14C 28 in steel drop point blade with Jinping. 0.12 in thickness, flat grind, and for this model, a black stone wash finish. Blade comes to about 57, 58, call it 59 on the HRC scale, and is open with either the dual sided thumb studs or the jimped front flipper. There it is. Mm. Handle ranges from brown. Linen Micarta, Black G10, Green Burlap Micarta, and Black Linen Micarta on the Black Hand Rub Damascus version. Of course, the Black G10 and Brown Linen Micarta options have the silver bead blasted finishes. You will have bead blast. Shouldn't it be silver? Mm -hmm. Each option features a tip up, reversible pocket clip, nested liners, stainless steel hardware mm -hmm. designed by Ray. Laconico. The great yeah. Ray Laconico. The great L Ray Laconico. Yeah, I'm, I'm moving him up there now. Oh, that's nice of you. He's done it purely out of volume. <laughs> These great. folders come with a cleaning cloth, pouch, and stickers. So split some Coke! Oh, goodness. All the world loves a Coke. With a Sabivi. So Coke. Having a Coke with you. Yeah. All I need is a polar bear and a So Coke. 65.50 from AtlantaKnife.com. All right, you can go first. I can go first? You can go wow. First. I know. I'm going to be kind. I've turned over a new leaf. I'm going to be kind to everything and everyone. Are you? No. Okay. Okay, so I like the uh, the Vosteed way of front flipping. And that is now called their tri lock or whatever it is. I can't remember the exact term. You know me. Um, I'm not a fan. I'm not ever going to be a fan of putting the opening mechanism on the wrong side of the knife. I mean, this is like you shipping me a car and it's got the steering wheel on the wrong side. I mean, that's great if I live in England, but I don't live in England. Other than that. I like they made the backspacer the same. I do. That. They did so many good things. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to mention. Go ahead. I really like that backspacer on that uh, uh, Wii. Did you? Yes. It was awesome. The jimping all the way. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. A uh, very stylish knife. I like how they do their G10. It's very smooth. I like their bead blast finish. It is, isn't it? It, it is looks, something. It looks professional, well done, clean, elegant, even though it's just a budget fold. And Sabibi is becoming the brand that everybody buys now. Yeah. You know, we is still there. They're buying Wii's and then Sin Cut, but Sabibi, that is the one everybody's getting. I think the look of the burlap is interesting. It's certainly different. I've never seen quite this look before it's not my taste but i always appreciate an attempt at something unusual i definitely believe now without a doubt that ray and ostop are trying to kill me <laughs> why do you keep giving me these front flippers i don't want i don't want front flippers stop giving them 
I mean, it does cut well and it opens nicely, but no. No front. No O-stop. No ray. <sighs> okay, so the 14C 28N seems to be the steal of the year so far. Yeah. I'm kind of warming up to it. I mean, I think it all just depends on how well it's done on the knife. This one's done pretty well, I have to say. It's just not my style. I'm hoping 20CV is the steal of the year. Good luck with that. Good mm -hmm. luck with that. All right. Okay. Ready? Yep. I said enough. <laughs> Next knife! Finally! Got the Max Ace Rock. A cousin to one of my most favorite knives of all time, the Max Ace Goliath. But first... Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, as well as ring, ring, ring the notification bell. Also, you get the latest content right at your fingertips. Jeffies. And we get to keep supplying you with new videos. Oh, we're going to do that in the world. Oh, yeah, that's great. You also get entered in giveaways. Right now, we have the New Year of JP event going on. So last week, we announced we'd be giving away this monster of a fixed carry, the JP Mob 204, with black handle. Nice. 1095HC. Give a little quick up here. Nine inches of pure USA made blade. Yep, that's nice. Woo! Lucky. And this USA made blade now belongs to the fabulous winner, and that is. <laughs> Go ahead. Jorge. For... Jorge. Okay, I'm only laughing because. Lucky winner. You said pure USA made, and then the name is kind of not, but it is. Oh, what are you saying? Then? George Hernandez, or Jorge Hernandez, whatever you want to go by. I'm pretty sure he wants to go by Jorge. Let's go by George, actually. Does he? I think I may have talked to him on the phone once before. Wow. And I called him Jorge, to be appropriate. Yeah. And he's like, hey, let's call me George. I'm like, what a J. That's because he doesn't want to hear you butchering his name. <laughs> Maybe that's it. Because you butcher everybody else's names when we do this stuff. Congrats, so. my man. Make sure to email sales at landknife.com. Stay fighting my rhymes. If you're here. If not, we'll be sending the announcements also on Facebook and Instagram, just to get the word out. Yep. Thanks to all who participated. We really appreciate all the comments and involvement. With that, we've reached the final New Year mm -hmm. JP giveaway. Yep, I can hear the violins now. Really? Yep, people are crying. Titanic is sinking. Yep, people have got the black veil going over. Yep, the last giveaway. So we're giving away the Jason Perry Model 903, also known as the Little Black Neck Knife. So you can take this baby everywhere and anywhere. Six inches overall, you know, one piece, 2.25 inch, 1095 HC blade. Can't Comes be with the neck sheet. Yeah. So, to enter, like, share, comment, and subscribe right here on this video. Just, just right there. Mm -hmm. Right there. What else? Or, you can increase your chances by becoming an AK member. Wow, I like my chances already. Or triple your chances by answering the AK trivia question. Also, JP really would like your support, so make sure to follow him on Facebook and Instagram. Please follow him on Facebook. There's, there's the name, right there. Yep. You can see all his latest creations and stay in touch. Details on the giveaway and links are down below in the description. Mm -hmm. All right, now you've built up this Max Ace. I'm hoping it aligns with my expectations or I'll be sincere <laughs> disappointment. <laughs> I'm betting. You'll be fine. Mm -hmm. So here it is, the Max Ace Rock, available mm, in nice. four options. Mm, okay, what are the options? White. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just letting everybody realize there's a white and bluey one there. That's okay, great. then they have red, black, and G10 by Macarta. So you got those four. We have the white because it's the best. Mm, okay, so it's a little under 9.5 inches overall with a 4 inch trailing point style blade. Sports a flat grind, plain edge, stone wash finish, and chipping. Mm -hmm. Made of Bowler M390 steel, the blade is deployed with a jimped flipper stud. Wow. Or. It's a big jimped flipper stud. Or the dual sided thumb studs. There you go. Yep. Handle features a titanium bolster, mm. depending on the option. Ranges from blue to gray titanium. Handle scales also range from G10 to Micarta. This one has the blue titanium bolster and white G10 scales. You also get the blue titanium tip-up pocket clip and lanyard backspacer. Yay! So blade operates on washers and comes with a box, cleaning cloth, and of course extra hardware. Mm-hmm. That's nice. Brandish a Max Ace Rock starting at just 148 from a landknife.com. Okay. All right. So I do like this knife, but personally, I wouldn't carry it 
kind of like along the same lines of the CRKT ritual because I'm not sure what you will use a scimitar like knife for. I mean, it's nice. I'd display it definitely. I know C loves it so much because it's like the CRKT and the Max Ace Goliath got together and made this knife. Excellent price, good quality. I'm not disappointed. It's just something, again, I wouldn't carry. So, is this another scimitar to add to your collection See, right? Oh, I'm adding this to my collection. There's no doubt yeah. about it. Mm -hmm. um, I might even at $148. Is that what you said? Mm -hmm. I might even carry this. I know that breaks my how much I put in my pocket because I don't want to lose it rule. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Should have seen him. He was taking pieces again off the binder. This binder is not going to last much longer. All right. He was like, oh, I can look, look, this tiny thin piece I took I actually think we should just end off. the show there. No, we're not going to end the show. And we'll just call it there. I'll get me some Subway. That's great. All right. On to the next. The... Sin cut. Oh, my goodness. Citus. 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 That's a good call. Three options. Yep. So we have the black G10, purple G10, and dark green Bacardi. Big surprise that we have all three. Mm-hmm. So folder is eight inches overall and features a 3.47 inch D2 blade, flat grind, plain edge, and on these two, a gray stone wash finish. Yep. Operating on cage ceramic ball bearings. This liner lock is open with a gemmed flipper stud and has a tip up. Reversible pocket yes. clip. Yep, designed by O. Stop L. This folder comes with a pouch, cleaning cloth, and stickers. So there's the green Macarta one. Of course, it has the black stone wash finish instead of the, the gray. And each is just $45.90 from AtlanticKnife.com. All right, go ahead. Well, let me just make sure. Okay. Well, it's not a front flipper. So that's awesome. Good work, Ostop. Good, um, good work. Some of these are like more than others, and it's because of the aesthetics. Yeah, I like this um, one. I'm not really into the purple, obviously. It's nice, obviously. but that one is a very nicely done green Micarta. Mm -hmm. uh, the cutting blade on this, now the bead blast is also really nice. Not a big black blade guy. I would even probably, yeah, I might not mind that. I like the uh, the blade style on this and the jimping. It also gives it the ability to, to cut easily. Um, deep carry pocket clip is very large, so it'll be a lot of pocket clip presentation there as you... That's uh, great. Nothing on it, so that's a plus or a minus. Nice little knife. Yep. Good size, too. Uh, I like that. Thank you. Thank you for putting on a gemmed flipper stud. Mm -hmm. Okay. I really like the dark green canvas Macarta one with the black stone wash finish. I tend to like the black blades more. It's just me. However, I do think the handle could have used just a little more contouring for contouring. your Contouring. Yep. Yeah. Just, just a little more. I do like that they did the lefty pocket clip again. So thank you. No liner hole, but I will let it go because of the lefty reversible pocket clip. Other than that, I think it's a solid knife from Sencut. I do too. Forty-five dollars D two. Mm -hmm. That seems pretty uh, pretty good size for that. I'm taking up with it again, just to one more time. Yep. Okay. With that, we reached our final blade. Ooh. Yep. The Best Tech Mothus. Yep. Comes in many different options, but we have one of the bronze ones. Is that right? Yep. So this knife is eight inches overall with a three point four seven inch M three ninety blade. Which has either a black finish or satin finish? Yep. Comes to about 59, 60, call it 61 on the HRC scale. Handle is titanium and sports a titanium reversible tip up pocket clip. So blade is opened with the thumb disc and disengaged with the bar lock. I wouldn't say you could open it with the bar lock, but it could just be because I have wimpy girl hands. So you're prop. Oh, look at that. Hold on. Okay, there you go. You'll never see that again. Starting at only 297 you can get the new Best Tech High-End Mothis with pouch, cleaning cloth, and stickers from landknife.com. All right, girl hands, hand it over. Yeah, I think you right. need to go first because so I need time to think So the key to the about. bar lock was you had to pull it back further. You really had to disengage it all the way across, even if you let it just a little bit there. It yeah, doesn't want see, that's to. That's not my style. I need a doesn't little. Doesn't want to go I all need, the way. Like just a little bit of leeway with the bar lock. I will say that I am absolutely torn on this knife. 
I hear there's a big uh, hubbubaloo, is that the word that you like to use? Hoopla. Hoopla regarding this knife. The design on the uh, scale mm -hmm. cut into it, I mean, it's that's, that's a lot of work. Um, it is different. And it kind of reminds me of, of maybe space yes, that's or... That's what I was going, planets. It could be like a duck or... Duck. I don't know. Lots of different things. I mean, it makes you really start to think Abstract about it. Abstract type of work The there. clip is awesome. I do like the thickness of the clip. It almost has a How Martian wide? look to it. I mean, this is not a great. space knife of any type that I've... I mean, i read about anywhere. Mothra. I mean, the I don't know. I think it could the, be a moth. I think the price may be... Was it limited edition? don't think so. Hmm. Well, I'd have to say I would probably get one. I think it's a little bit over the price range I'd spend, but the design, no, no, uh, this could be else. a big one. Or it could be could be an average one. I, think, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not crazy about the opening. I don't really like the thumb disc. I want a flipper stud. You guys know that. The bar lock is a little too... Uh, the, bar, the, the bar lock there is simple. But unique, I mean. I don't like the bar lock. It's I got like a nice it. thick bar. I too. think I like the handle because it's different and it took time. Oh, it took some work on it. And a there's CNC there's a lot of different machine. colors. There's like blue and mm -hmm. pink, purple. Yeah. I just think it's a cool. I like the handle and the pocket clip. I'm not crazy about the opening. If they had stuck a flipper set on there, I'd probably be like yeah. Okay. All right. Unfortunately, Kayers, that was our last knife. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, as well as ring that glorious bell. Also, you can stay connected with AK and be automatically entered into giveaways. This is the last week for the new year of JP Events, and don't forget to cast your ballot so you're entered. Of course, follow JP. Giveaway details and links are down below. Mm -hmm. We also released, finally, the next podcast episode of Gearing Up with AK. If you want to check it out, we told you it was coming. There it is. There it is. Link for that is also down below. With that, I'm C, and this is... Joel. Just Joel. And we are... Signing off. I didn't think you were going to go that way with this What's night. the time? <laughs> On no, the... You know what? What? I ain't shorter than you. Alright. Did you raise your chair?